All right, welcome to Life at SOK 350 Lover. We're going to be continuing on with Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 5 upgrade, PlayStation 5. And... Boy, you drive me sick with worry. Oh my god, lady, shut up. Here at Franklin's house. Well, I should say Franklin and his auntie's house. <sighs> going to be continuing on. Let's see where we left off. So we got game. Last main mission that we did was marriage counseling with Michael, where he went and um pulled down that house with the what was that with the uh what did it call that the wench or whatever yeah with the truck and the wench and pulled that dude's house down. He thought it was the tennis coach who was cheating with his wife. Turned out to be some uh, mafia guy. So now we got to make money and replace this house. So that's the last main story mission we did. And for Strangers and Freaks, we did Pulling Favors again with Tanya. Helping her and JB out with that um, tow truck business. Um, ain't too much going on here. Let me get out of here. Man, let me tell you. you hey. I was just going to say, um, just walk around. Oh, this is a Lamar mission. That's Lenny. Okay, that's the Lenny mission. Lenny, Lester. <laughs> Lester. That's it, Lenny. And, um, Michael. That's the only two we have. I don't see any strangers and freaks or anything. Uh, let me go to this ammunition real quick. We can just walk. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say was, let me tell you what happened. I was playing. Just started playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Waited for this uh PlayStation 5 upgrade to come out. And then um once it was available, uh, you know, started playing it. Only uploaded like a couple of videos so far. And my second and I'm gonna say I think it was like the fifth video I uploaded got copyright claimed. Because the second video when I was sitting on the couch and he was smoking marijuana and he was watching TV, which you know, there's nothing I can do. I tried to turn off the TV while he was sitting there. And then, um, yeah, it got copyright claimed by Take Two because of that bubblegum pop, the anime that was playing on the TV in his house when he was sitting down on the couch. And so, um... Yes, I had to I had to trim that part out, which sucks because I was just sitting there recording him smoking and his voice lines. But because it was playing in the background, I don't know. I looked at their copyright um policy and it says like as long as you don't play the T V things in isolation, it's okay. As long as it's part of like a Is that steaming policy the present for not training you? As long as it's like a part of a main playthrough, but Happiness. Okay. Might as well take him for a walk. Oh, whoa, 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 what you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god. Why does this say it says R1 to take him on a walk, but then press R1 to take him for a walk. Let's roll, little homie. Come on. See, I had to go back out and uh, go on that video and when he was sitting on the couch, you had to trim that part out. That's annoying. It wasn't like a, a long time. It was only like a couple of seconds of him sitting on the couch and smoking and watching the TV. Well, she didn't even stay watching the TV. It was just playing in the background. And then um, the other one was, because you know I got the game music turned off. And I always do that when I play. Because, you know, YouTube will catch things. And so, I already got the music turned off. What's the radio station? Oh, make sure that's turned off, too. And, um, yeah, so, you remember that part where Michael's sitting there next to his pool. And he has the headphones. He puts his headphones in. And he plays that Phil Collins song. 
the don't care anymore song it just plays randomly it only does like a little clip of the song yeah that one came up too that song came up this it was not even not even like a you know I, I don't even know like 10 seconds or something like that or 15 seconds so that came up on YouTube too even though you can't do anything about that song it's part of like the game so it's not like you can even turn that off uh -oh. somebody's calling me me and JB can't clean but JB fiend and bed sick as a dog can you do one more job for us give us a call Oh, yeah. oh my god. Franklin, what's poppin'? You get my text. Oh, she is so high. Messed up. Now I kicked the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Mm -hmm. Can you cover one more job, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, last time. Sounds like they're both in the sickness. Go to the tow truck. Let me take him back. Oh shoot, where am I now? Take this off. I'm supposed to be walking the ammunition. Where's this house at? No detail. That's weird. His house just totally disappeared. Uh, huh. Crap, I don't even know. I know it's over here by the car wash. Where's the... Uh, where's the dog at? Okay, I'm trying to call the dog, but I don't see the option. Where did the dog go? Where's Chap at? Huh? Okay. I don't know. I don't know where the dog went. That is so weird. The dog just disappeared on me. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll go to the tow truck thing now. Vehicle. And then one thing that drives me nuts about this game is uh, the restaurants. What in like San Andreas and other games you can go inside like was it Cluck and Bell or Pizza Place? Well, Cluck and Bell's like the must be like KFC, and then they have like a pizza place and Burger Shot. I know they had that. What happened? Where's all the restaurants at? Get my stamina up. Definitely. So yeah, so if you're playing and um you're uploading to YouTube or live or you knew traffic was gonna be bad, why didn't you plan ahead of time? Or just uploading offline or whatever, then don't be surprised if something gets claimed. There's just something you need to turn off all the music and other things it, it can get claimed but I heard about that with the, the TV shows they used to be even more worse back in the day um they they gotten kind of like um kind of more lenient but I heard about that even if you're just sitting down and watching the TV or it's just playing in the background that it they can claim it so I guess I won't be uh having the TV on or Watch any more TV shows while he's at the house. Alright, so where is... Oh, it's over here. Oh, shoot. Which is, like, weird, too, because, I mean, I played Red Dead Redemption 2, which is another Rockstar game. And, um, you know, I go to, like, the shows, watch the shows, and, you know, the theater things, everything, and never had a problem, but... It's just weird. I don't know. Like, broken down car in Spanish Avenue. Who's in the vicinity? Over. Yeah, I'll take that. Ten four. Copy that. Clear after you. By the way, 
I mean, the game is made by Rockstar, but then I guess some of this content in the game is by Take Two. And then, of course, some of these songs that automatically play are by different artists, too, so. I guess you can't really have too much control over a copyright thing. So, yeah, so with that, um. With that whole thing with him sitting on the couch and that um, TV show playing in the background and that copyright claim, I had to trim that out. I had to trim the part that came up. So that sucks. I had to like cut part out, cut a part out of my video. And then with the uh, other thing, when when he was uh, Michael was sitting on his uh, next to his pool, and that Phil Phil Collins song was playing, uh, had to like, cause now they have some kind of option. It's like a beta option where you can, um, you know, you can either like mute the song. That's like beta. So they're trying to just mute the song and then they'll keep all the uh, background audio. Like if you're talking and stuff, they'll try to keep that and just mute the song itself. Or you can just mute all the, the sounds. So it takes care of the claim, but I, I just tried to do like mute the, um, the song audio. Let's see if that'll do it. But that's really kind of annoying. That's why I like, um, what's the game I played? Um, I just played it not too long ago. Life is Strange. Uh, the latest one. About that girl that was uh, adopted and her brother. And uh, they have a lot of games these days, they'll have the whole, even though you turn off the music, they'll have like disabled copyright content. So even if there's a song playing, or let's say somebody's playing a guitar in the game and singing and stuff, they'll just, it'll be completely muted. <laughs> and it looks really funny, because somebody will be playing a guitar and, and singing and their, their lips are moving and they, they're playing a guitar and then there's no sound. But that's honestly better. I called you people like an hour ago. You people. Now the oh, get them, let them get in the car. Just get me to a mechanic. I still don't have time for this right now. All right, man. Hold on. I'm gonna get you there. Oh shoot! I think I am. Chop this. I hate backing up this thing. Make sure I don't chop the. Car this time. Oh, there we go. Get it up. See, that's how they get you. Cause see, I gotta turn around. Unacceptable response time. I'm just saying. Shut up. Shit, you can get out and walk if you don't like it. Whoa, simmer down, buddy. I'm not blaming you per se. You're just the little man. I know that. I'm just saying there has to be a little man. Not at the droid level, but up top. I keep posting negative reviews online, and it's like nobody reads them. I know they don't. <laughs> I get daily stats. You know, I've been towed three times in the last month, and the quickest response was 47 minutes. Welcome I'm to saying, America. Maybe they need a new system. <laughs> or maybe you need a new car. Like I say, I'm not blaming you. My problem's with the mule driver, not the mule. Enough. The mule driver. Right, you need to shut the hell up, homie. What is this dude talking about? What does he even look like? Oh man. It's just like me, like I had AAA. You know, everybody has AAA, especially back in the day, right? And you call AAA, you'd be out there for like an hour or two hours, depending on where you at, especially if you're on the highway. Good luck. If you're in some residential area, you might have like a more quicker response time, but if you're out in the in the states while well, his his hood just flew off or if you're out on the highway and they gotta come and try to find you and yeah it's crazy yeah of course you gotta wait 45 minutes is not that bad if she has some premium service or something connected to your car insurance that's always better Get out the way. What the hell was that? Oh god. Oh Shit. man. There you go. We're complaining. <laughs> Put 
some spikes on your car. Man, get the heck out of the way. Is it here? Is it here or behind here? I don't even know. I see the little icon. Wow, everybody is hitting the car? Oh, I think it is here. Drop it. Well, we made it. I won't mention you on the complaint form. Man, this ain't even my business, man. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. <laughs> I'm telling you something else. All right. I need to... Why does it come up with auto save? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Alright, mission pass. Still pulling favors. Alright. Mission time was a little bit slow. On hoop bonus this time. Let's go ahead and look at that. It's like this is a continuation. Oh, I see. Pull, pull in another favor. Pulling favors again. Still pulling favors. Okay, so what was the objective for this one? Oh, oh no, no, no. Or being a play. I don't want to play it again. No, 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 no. I don't want to continue. What the hell? Oh, man. I pressed the wrong button. <clears throat> I was just looking at it. I accidentally pressed X. Okay, still pulling favors. So we're supposed to complete it within six minutes. Okay. I guess I did that U-turn and then unhook it. Keep the vehicle hooked until delivery. Okay, sober. Perfect. All right, what else we got? Any more Stranger Things? So we got that Lester, which is Michael's because it's blue. Then we got Michael. Okay. All right. That's really it. Man, this thing is smoking. What's this place called? Choke Specialist. Instant quote, same day repairs and service available. Domestic, Japanese, European. Okay. Got everything. All right, I don't know what happened to Chop. Let me go to Michael. They were saying like with the numbers, I didn't really get to catch it, but the numbers next to the head, I guess are missions available. Oh shoot, he's on the bike. All right, so we can go ahead and do, what's the difference between Michael and Lester? Let me see what this Michael mission is. Oh man, so far away. Michael, my money, where is it? You do not want me to visit you again. Next time will be so much worse. <laughs> I can't ride the bike. I cannot come to the fort right now. Call back. Weird. Let's see. Any emails? Got that dang doctor. Let's see if what he's talking about. Man, I can't ride the bike while he's on the phone. This is Dr. Isaiah Friedlander's office. There's no one here right now. Leave a message and we'll book you in as soon as we can. Be well. It's terrible. How about the own oh, investments? Money and services. <clears throat> See how much she's got in the bank. Welcome. Oh shoot, man. See look at these the transactions. Alright, so we already seen the Wiz phone services, Vinewood, beauty treatment, stock brokers. Okay, that was me investing. Two times. Downtown cab. Two times. Stock brokerage. Got some money. Stop brokers again, minus downtown cab. Stop brokers again, credit. And then that session with the doctor. That's really cool. All right. Trying to see how he's doing with his investments. My portfolio. Oh my God. Why is everything down so much? MOR is doing really good. And GOP. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm making money. Hey. 
Okay. Are you sure you want to sell all your shares? This return profit $1,325 over your original invested capital. Okay. I should have sold more before. Okay, 3,000%. They said MOR. What's MOR and GOP and ECL? MOR. Wars Mutual Insurance. Help provide national leader in the business of human <coughs> suffering. Okay. What was that on GOP? Go Postal. Didn't I just have that one? Yeah, this one's making good money. What was the other one? ECL. E C L E Cola. <laughs> name is just so funny, like Ebola or uh, E Coli. The world leader in the manufacture and the marketing of the sugary caffeinated beverages that turn 18 year olds into manic fatos. Okay, let me get that that postal one back. Uh, what was it again? E. Hang on now. I just had it. GOP. You're looking good. Go post them, yep. Okay, we'll get ten of these. Oh wait, I don't have all my money tied up in this thing. Ten. Okay, bye. Okay. And then what was the other one? M O R. That's an insurance company, isn't it? More is mutual insurance. Okay. Ten. I don't know if I get ten. Let me see if I get five. Nope, three. Only three. Okay. Three will be fine. Thank you. All right. Let's go. be good for his uh, stamina. Where did he get this bike from anyway? It's so random. Can he jump? Oh, I can change weapons. I can change the camera angle. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Thank you. Oh shoot, I can't see. <laughs> oh man, that fuck. I didn't know that was gonna happen. That cinematic camera is terrible. Okay, this is better. But not really. crazy. It's kind of like Red Dead, but I don't know. At least with Red Dead, you can kind of have it in one kind of way. I can't jump. What's Triangle do? Oh, jump off. <laughs> oh, man. Lord. Oh, Killing Michael. Man. Ow. It's so accurate, too. Look at his body. You can't really see it, but Scorch your cycles. Can't do like a bunny hop or something on this thing. Just see here. Settings. Here we go. And vehicle. I don't see, I see duck hydraulics. What is that? Look behind, horn. Duck hydraulics, X. Yes, yeah, so phone. And brake accelerate. Yeah, I don't see anything. I 
Let's see what this Michael mission is. I don't even see an option of buying any clothes. Oh, what? What? What's that? Little dot. Program.com and prepare to be amazed. Remember, the tract has not yet been written. Okay. Hey, live with your doubts, brother, brother. I am happy with my certainties. Okay. You can visit Epsilon Program at www.epsilonprogram.com or your in game browser or in game phone browser. Okay, Trees this is that. Can talk. Cool. But only some people can hear them. That's a fact. Sperm is a lie. It does not exist. <laughs> you were what? told about sperm to make you believe in the great evolutionary myth. If evolution were true, we'd be able to fly just like planes. And that's a fact. <laughs> what? This guy's crazy. Okay, so where is it? www.epsilon.com We are all related, father brother. We're all related. Aside from people with red hair. They <laughs> are not descended from the great wise one known as Kraft. Oh my god. I know you doubt. But doubt is the pathway to faith. What's everybody always so discriminatory against people with red hair? <clears throat> To be happy? Don't mock my happiness. You may think it's funny, but where will laughter get you? Laughter won't make you happy. Pick a new set of lies. Pick a fellowship of like minded adults who tithe money for eternity and merit badges. Well, how you Kip spell that again? Oh, shoot. What did I say? Ip Ipsilon? It's a long... Salvation comes at a price. And it's a price worth paying. Oh, there Salvation is it's on program. To oh, stock it. And to anyone who can People think it's only teenage runaways, middle-aged virgins, and creepy high school owners who fall victim from the coats. It can happen to anyone, including you or your loved one. Someone you know could suddenly disappear for a year and come back babbling. And its basis is lies, money, and polyester leisure wear. I'm talking about Epsilonism, but can you hear me? It can happen to your child, it can happen to you, it can happen, it happen to us, and we were just two normal, needy, lost, liberal arts graduates. Do you want happiness? From do average, truly dysfunctional white middle class families who fell for a rhetoric of a charismatic man at the ends of the 1970s. A satisfying relationship with the only thing so close to those children on the mountain. The and it's time to embrace Children on the Mountain is the worst America's kind of cult. Religion. The self help cult that only Epsilon. exists online like perverts. Find out Claim to be a personal Epsilon development program. community com. and a world leader in digital self awareness training. They hide behind brochures and slogans and sleep marketing. I'm an yes, I'm an Epsilon. This is our time. This guy is still talking. Don't believe what they tell you. They use stupid feel good happy? jargon like allows your actuality, utilize your completeness. They spend a lot of time and money and try to explain how they're not a cult. If you spend all your time screaming, I'm not gay, then you probably are. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Life is a 
Does it pass the cult stuffer's five point cult test? Self appointed Masonic leader, elitist totalitarian structure, promise of a higher power, mind control techniques, and heavy financial commitment. What is the point of your life? Everyone is TV, sorry, you're on TV, this is what we do. Five hundred and fifty. I'm free. Epsilon and for program. a reasonable investment of time and money, you can be too. Alright, so the Epsilon program, what is the it? American way. The poster child for modern cults. <laughs> I need a credit card bill. Poster child for modern cults. Science fiction for celebrities. Shadowy henchmen who threaten to kill you for criticizing them publicly. You can and blue me, baby clothing. But you Epsilon has it all. We truth. can't go outside without people following us, chanting Kiflon. Dinosaurs are alive. Not that we go outside very often and open the blinds weak. or talk to them on buddy each other. Epsilon pays movie stars to talk a package of uh, package deal of enlightenment. Immortality and sexual promiscuity, all framed by an extremely confusing and implausible backstory involving an alien called Kraft that Epsilon's Epsilonists conveniently refuse to ever explain or talk about. Still, if Jimmy Boston and Clay Jackson believe it, then it must be true. Okay. So same thing Trees again. Can talk, but only some people can hear them. Oh, That's life invaders on here? <laughs> yeah, what it is, it's like a cult. Unless you spent it ten last ten years exist. or past ten years living in servitude to a crazed old man on a remote ranch in the Midwest, cut off from technology in the outside world, and in constant fear of pending suicide pit, you don't need someone to explain what life invader is. We escaped from that ranch four years ago. We discovered a world in the grips of a cult more terrifying and dangerous than we could ever imagine. Social media. That's true. Start truth of these tech pioneers. Whether it's a search engine company like iFine, micro, micro blogging company like Leader, or social networking site like Life Invader, they have the same scheme. They rush in saying how they're going to revolutionize your life and make the world better. Yet what they're really doing is monetizing everyone's hard work and private information. Yep. So I understand. Life Vader is supposed to be like Facebook or MySpace or Do you want Instagram. Well, really like Facebook. Don't I think they're making happiness. a parody of Children of the Mountain. I don't know. It's based on some other cult. Epsilon to Epsilon is supposed to be like Scientology. Atheist serving mankind under no wordy coordinated humanism. Wow, a lot of them. What is it? The anti-religion religion. The atheist cult. Okay, that's simple. Okay. Binder New World Wealth System. What is an online scam designed to dupe people into investing into a scheme? Thanks for taking us the imminent collapse of the world economy. Salvation is available to anyone uh, and then we know got the altruist. What is it? Apart from what it appears to be some kind of encrypted manifesto, we don't have any first hand information on this group. However, there are enough conspiracy theories circulating this about people going this in San Andreas countryside for them to warrant a place on cult stoppers list. We love conspiracy theories. When we first heard stories of a remote rural hideout, they like curfews, anti-technology, technology, vitriol, and human sacrifice, we thought they might have been uh, talking about our old cult. They remember they all skin themselves alive and jumped to a vat of burning acid two years ago. Oh my god. And what we can only imagine was the final act of glorious marching on. We've been promised for so long. We assumed that Altruist was an ironic name until we heard that all its members are elderly from the generation that predated irony and personal responsibility. We're told that we're extremely secretive extremely well armed, extremely naked, and the old arm nudist is never a good thing, especially when they're rumored to be some kind of ageist jihad against the under 40s at the bequest of the alien Lord Zappo, who is coming yes. to I'm reclaim the earth. This oh, you know we did that uh, mission with um Lamar, and we had to steal back that bike, and happy? that homeless dude was talking about Get away from me, you Zappo agents. That frees you from so, and then they said, Lord Zappo. So maybe some kind of connection. Maybe they're just senile. If they habits, have any intel on this cult, please type. If you have any intel on this cult, please contact us immediately. We can't option. find any former members who have dropped out, which is really worrying. We hear talking of a master. People disappearing. Talk of this being the boom baby boomer's last boom. But we don't have much question. to go on. 
the hell? What is the point Internet of your life? <laughs> Where do you find happiness? Uh, I'm happy. Can I go back too? I'm free. And for a reasonable investment of time and money, you can be too. Yeah. Find joy the American Epsilon way. Epsilon program.com. Do you want to be happy and free from thought? Or continue dying in ignorance without knowing your true internal self? Welcome to the Epsilon program. Uh, you can ignore me. Oh my god, man. But you cannot ignore the okay, truth. dude. I can't the even concentrate. Dinosaurs are alive that people believe because okay, they man. Are too Ooh, shut up. All right, let's see if I can get on here now. This guy is just all up in my ear. Hey man, what's good? Two more weeks, then you gonna be slicing tofu with those abs. <laughs> slicing tofu with my abs. Alright, so welcome to the Epsilon program. Do you want to be happy and free from thought? Continue dying in ignorance while knowing your true internal self. You are controlled by lots of powerful forces you do not understand. Do you want to believe? Are you everything you need and less and more? Then you are ready. Do you want to be rich and powerful? Do you want to be rich and powerful tools? Our time has come and so has yours, if you let me. The track is now being rented. Okay. Chris Fromage. <laughs> is not that a cheese? And for much mean cheese. Oh Lord Jesus. Let's see who this guy is. To understand the Epsilon program, powerful tools that can unleash in your life, you need to understand the founder Chris Fromage. Chris Fromage has been on a spiritual adventure, one that has led him to the far reaches of the earth, seeking to bring meaning to the meaningless. After a soul crushing spiritual journey through many castings and auditions that went nowhere, he made a great discovery yeah. and vibe with and indeed the world hasn't been the same since. What? I have achieved many great things in this life and the one before it. Our earth is 157 years old. Many of us have lived and died once already. What I tell all Epsilonists is that to understand the meaning of the universe, you will need to get down to the core of your being and credit score and listen to the hundreds of expensive hours of my lecture. They understand and know the true form. And that is knowing, and that is a knowing smile that lasts an eternity. Chris Fromage, Luxembourg, 1994. Chris is the award-winning writer of the quest for a track of Epsilonism. Track of this ninth paradigm. What the hell? Why did it skip like that? Ninth paradigm which has yet to be written. It's often the topic of his hundreds of speaking engagement worldwide. Many governments and mental health authorities condemned Epsilonism on the onset. Pay no taxes, purchase land, buildings, all land, maybe cities. Conduct what to some are bizarre sex rituals with multiple partners. However, as time wore on and more and more followers join, it's become clear that it's a bona fide religion. <laughs> if you want to call it a cult. Founded by one of history's greatest leaders. Chris was a foundling. Uh, he had no parents. He could meditate for a really long time. First time he played golf, he hit seven holes in one. Okay, come on. This biography is really bullcrap. He has written several great books and sired many children. He has also fought mythical beasts. He is too humble to describe his divinity, but we aren't so bashful. Expert in judo, tantric sets, and textile. <laughs> this is funny. Chris found the Epsilonism as a truly American religion, and now many from Vinewood celebrating celebrity worship. Why is it jumping like that? Celebrating celebrity worship and franchising to the far reaches of the earth. Chris established first Epsilon Center in Vinewood and quickly learned internal truth. Okay, what else? Celebrities. Many celebrities become Epsilonists. Many celebrity Epsilonists become celebrities. Years ago, Chris Fromage learned the truth of spreading truth. That is what you need, spokespeople. While a sports drink or a soda may pay celebrity millions to endorse products, celebrities ask you pay us to endorse our religion. It's pure genius, and Epsilonism is the fastest pathway to genius status yet invented. We'll give you the tools if you're ready. Traveling by wood, stop by our center and take an introductory course. You might just meet a famous celebrity. You might just become a famous celebrity or a philosopher or prophet. Whichever you prefer. Visit your local Epsilon Center, Boulevard Del Perro, Rockford Hills, and Los Santos. Okay. I think they're talking about, uh, you know, with Scientology, Tom Cruise, and all these different celebrities. But Epsilon's program is... Uh, from what I heard, it's supposed to be a 
parody of uh, Scientology. It really sounds like it. Houses of Worship. Wow, look at these buildings. Epsilon Group is proud to announce a new house of worship breaking ground in the Middle East, which will include crystal ladder reached 2,800 feet in the air, symbolizing an ascension to the ninth paradigm titled Craft Tower, expected to be finished in 2015. Also, we are pleased to announce the acquisition of a new building in Liberty City. New house of worship are planned for San Ferro, or Ferro, and the historic building is where Jakarta, Sao, Sao Paulo, and Rome, and Alaska. Our new Liberty City House of Worship. Pale blue is the new black. Click here to purchase official Epsilon robes that look great through this paradigm and the next is in the next designed by highly successful Epsilonist Sebastian Ditz. Okay, so you go order the clothes too. <laughs> Meet the members. Oh my god. Meet a member of the Epsilon program. Epsilonists are very diverse. They are scientists, great thinkers, top celebrity actors. Casting agents, directors, editor, makeup artists, screenwriter, players, personal trainers, and more. Here's an interview from one of our members of how Epsilonism changed his life. My name is Jason Billings. I work here for his studio as a production assistant. People in my neighborhood, they know I'm an Epsilonist. They always ask me what kind of religion is that. Is it made up? Has Chris ever tried to touch you? <laughs> I tell him the Epsilon program changed my life. I was out of work. I wanted to be an actor. I was in a couple of short films, really indie. One that was called Balls Deep. Anyway, I was really down on myself, upset about things. I met this guy and I went to some acting classes with He was getting a huge part in a movie. Told me the confidence. He told me the confidence and connections he made at Epsilon Buildings really helped his career. I was like, sign me up. Okay. Release some practices. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, beliefs, life, answers, payment plans are all part of the wonders of Epsilon program that will be revealed to you in due course. Do you think you're going to have what it takes? Do you think we're, we're going to take you on a journey to your soul for free? All the best journeys eventually come to a toll road. You can pay or can be lost in the wilderness. It's your choice. May awful lies have been spread by whistleblowers, bitter ex, ex uh, Epsilonists. Hidden camera and documentaries and so-called investigative journalists in recent years. So we like to clear up some of the misconceptions, common misconceptions. Question one. Click any question to learn more about Epsilon program. What is Epsilon program? Epsilon program is a major world religion with members in 152 countries. Employ science and means of clear thinking. That empowers its followers to become living manifestations, manifestations of the divine through the understanding of metaphors central to it and human history, biology, and psychology. Epsilonists are free from illness, insecurity, and any other form of weakness. Many live to be 300 years or more. When can drugs slash medicine be used? Drugs should only be used for mind expansion and never med medical purposes. Epsilonists prefer the terms vitamins. Medical procedures for the betterment of eternal self like cosmetic surgery are acceptable and encouraged. Most other medicine is a fraud. The fact, in capital letters, is that science is full of lies. For example, many people used to think the world was flat. Okay. That's funny about the drugs and medicine thing. What's that one religion? I don't know if it's like Seven Day Adventist or something. Or Jehovah's Witness. I forgot which one it is, but um, where they don't let you drink coffee and then like they don't let you get medical care and they say you should like you know pray instead and then people like you know they end up dying because they should get like medical attention but they think you know you should just pray and that's how you should solve it i don't i forgot who does that it's interesting that they brought this up how can you say sperm does not exist sperm is a lie designed to trick you into believing a great evolutionary myth when a man spills his seed his body is expunging ancient alien parasites the fact if you never actually seen a sperm the fact is that you never actually seen a sperm yeah you can see sperm on our microscope what are they talking about this sounds like just a reason for them to just have like sex as much as they want this is so stupid how do you explain all the fossils and other evidence proving that dinosaurs existed crap place many things in the world to confuse and challenge us <laughs> oh boy you know this is funny because like people actually talk about this like this this question like some people believe like dinosaurs didn't exist and the whole evolutionary thing and oh my goodness uh so craft place many things in the world to confuse and challenge us 
and weed out objectional persons and unsavables. The fact that you've never seen dinosaurs die from in the movies, but you have seen a hot fire. Fancy spending eternity in one of those. <laughs> and it's kind of scaring you with the hellfire and brimstone thing. Even though you can see fossils and dinosaurs in museums and stuff. And out in the world. Uh, how can the world still be 157 years old? It, age does not change. Time is irrelevant to internal truth. Core paradigm is quadrillions of years old. This night paradigm and this is the earth. This earth is its centerpiece. Fact that you weren't alive 157 years ago, so you do not know for sure. Epsilon doesn't provide a more complete understanding than so called geology. Okay, <laughs> so called geology. Why are you so sick of you about crab? Is truth so simple yet uh, powerful cannot be revealed until you have the technology to understand it, until the technology has processed your bank account? Learning the wonder of Christ's teaching and plan for us too soon without sufficient spiritual and financial investment can cause great harm to the science of the mind. Fact is, craft loves those who love themselves by committing to a life of epsilonism. This is just a way for you to um, go through their different levels of their religion and pay all this money. And saying, you know, we can't teach you the, the truth until you're, you know reach that level and blah 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 it's just really big scam steps the line of religion for tax purposes yes <laughs> good answer click here to learn the 12 tenets of kiflom 12 tenets of kiflom is one world is 157 years old or years old fact two dinosaurs are a lie that people believe because they're weak fact three you are happy you just don't know it fact number four we all come from the same tree fact Number five, everyone is related to everyone else except for those people, except for people with red hair. Fat. Wow. What's up with the, like, <laughs> red hair discrimination? Number six, sperm is not exist, is a lie spread by biology teachers along with everything else you have ever been told. Fat. Seven, men are supposed to lie with nine partners a week. Nine new partners a week. Men are supposed to lie with six, seven, four in July. When they must lie with five men a day. Fat. See? And then here they go with the whole men uh, and women different rules. So it's definitely a copying religion or religions. Number eight, aliens exist and are present on Earth. If you have birthmark, you may be descended from Kraft, the famous emperor of the four paradigm fact. So if you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, or you've seen like YouTube videos, uh, there's a guy you meet at this house and he's supposed to be from the future or maybe he's part of epsilon or whatever he has red hair and a birthmark on his face so they said it's connected to this game like he's from the future and he's part of epsilon or he's descended from craft but then he has red hair so they're saying he's not i don't know and then they said that princess that's missing like in a photo or uh or i guess how she's supposed to look uh, she has a birthmark on her face, so they think she's descended from craft, even though you can't find her in the game. Number nine, trees talk, but it's only some people here. Fate ten, people who believe in something live much longer than atheists, and they have an eternal life thrown in for good measure. Fate. This lady is so in my ear. Eleven, if you believe this and turn your hands and wallet over to Epsilonism, you'll live a happy life. Otherwise, you're doomed. Fate. And number twelve, Kiflon. Happiness is yours, Kiflon. Let me check my recording time real quick. Okay, this is taking a long time. Alright, so we did all of that. Evaluate your identity. Okay. Do you have red hair? <laughs> uh, yes, no, we're uncertain. No. Do you ever experience deja vu again? Uh, sure, I guess. Do you want to understand completely to be complete? Sure. Do you have the endurance to lie with nine partners a week? Sure. <laughs> I just want to get into this whole cult thing just to, to see what this leads to. Do you consider attractiveness relative to your own attractiveness? Sure. Do you have burnt marking on your face? Yes. Do you want to be famous? Yes. Is all the answer yes? Are you able to look at things? And see them as metaphors for other things like trees and eagles. Yes. Can you easily know your entire family and join a new group of friends? Yes. D do your checks clear? <laughs> yes. Get results. Processing. Okay. 
says you have enlightenment of 24 percent which is in the highly desirable band your graph reveals you are extremely unfulfilled depressed unsuccessful and lacking in purpose sometimes feel like stabbing out your own eyes or the eyes of others please realize that this is not option or this is not an opinion our opinion of you it is your opinion of you run through a very complicated analysis machine that we sell for a profit at epsilon gift shop for your question is do you appreciate the limitations or your misunderstandings it's vital that you disconnect from your inadequacies. You must take action. Travel through the dawn to pass to the past picture in our brochures. Look for a red truck with a dent on the right fender. Raise your left hand and recite the words. Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflom. We'll do the rest because we all know there is Kiflom and there is Cramp and both be praised. So, um, I've seen this in like other YouTube videos, but basically you look for this truck. And then, like they said, say the little chant thing, and then basically you'll be able to go inside and meet the cult or try to be a part of it. Uh, Alright, so I look for a truck. What was the other thing? What's in there? Something else? Oh, they said about the clothes. How you order the clothes? They said uh, the local places. I wonder if it's going to show up on the map. All right, pale blues, new black. Click here to purchase the official Epsilon rope suit. Wow! Official Epsilon rope set is twenty-five thousand. Congratulations on selling this detention this far. I can literally wear your beliefs on your sleeve with the official Epsilon rope set. You look great through this paradigm and the next. So Epsilon is we know that religious attire and fashion don't have to be mutually exclusive. That's why we teamed up with Fugi. And top designer is Sebastian Dietz, who himself is a successful Epsilon is pretty much one of the best thesis around to create a truly timeless and tasteful look worthy of newfound understanding you have for your internal self. Uh, made a comfortable, lightweight, breathable, synthetic, scientific fabric, even though they say they don't believe in science. The Epsilon, <laughs> Epsilon rows are easy care, non-wrinkle, and quick access. They go on quickly as they come off in case it's time to do your duty. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. It, look at his outfit. Look at the buttons are just like pulled over there. I don't know, man. This dude looks stupid. It's power dressed in daywear and comfortable nightwear. Rolled into one. It's medieval night. Meets 80 glam. Brock meets white trash. Leisure suit. Yes, there's three great eras of fashion history and one effortless look. Since I mentioned that you're part of a spiritual elite and yet still in touch with an unstable common man, make the ultimate fashion religious statement today for a one bargain, non refundable payment of 25000 What price salvation? What price looking good for eternity? I don't have enough money. Sadly, we have no robes inside this time. Please try again later. Yeah, I don't have no money anyway. Okay. That was crazy. I know when I was, um, let me see something real quick. I was going to, um, when I was looking for the Epsilon thing and I went to the Colt Finder. What is it? I seen something about paying 500 on Eps Epsilon. Salon. Let me see if I can bring it up. I said pay five hundred dollars to um look for something. This coat stopper. Then it said here it is. Uh reality mail. It was TV star, you on TV. That's what we do. Take our introductory e workshop. Just five hundred dollars. Click here. Okay, fame machine, no talent talent required. You on TV, that's what we do. We are talent agents from the talentless base in the heart of Los Santos. Reality Mill is a full service talent agency for those desperate individuals looking to become D lister or become a D lister in the reality TV. Uh, we have a direct line of contact, some of the most powerful casting agents, producers, and Vinewood. Our clients have appeared on hit shows such as America's Next Top Hooker. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be America's Next Top Model. Uh, parody and play outsource and fame and shame okay uh so those are 
the TV show was Implant, Allosaurus, Famous Shane, Real Cunts of Suburbia. I guess it's supposed to be Real Housewives of whatever. Rehab Island. Uh, I guess. I forgot. I forgot what um, Island TV show that was. But okay. Are you a guy who wants to eat a plate of raccoon feces on a fake this island? Or your girl wants to catfight 12 other women to win six with a STD ravaged has been 80s musician? Are you a pregnant teenager who likes whiskey and cigarettes through the third trimester? It's really true because these things do happen on TV, reality TV shows. Are you Italian American with no qualms about betraying your cultural heritage? <laughs> I think they're talking about, um, what's that TV show with Snooki on her? I forgot it. Are you a morbidly obese person who might die of a cardiac arrest if that's exercise? Um, what's that one? I think that's TLC. Those TV shows. Uh, are you a self-loading divorcee prepared to undergo a major surgery maker for a chance to win a $500 gift voucher to save a cent? That's great. The opportunities are endless. The bottom has fallen out of TV and that means if you're a failure in real life, you can still be a successor in reality life. Uh, fail up. It's new world. We need token ethnic minorities. TV shows with positions available now including the hell no uppity finger waving hip hop girl attitude. The former football player with anger issues who punches holes in walls. That might be Michael. The close tier Asian nerd who is still a virgin. A flamboyant backstabbing gay Latino. <laughs> Take our introductory e workshop. Just $500. Learn how to showcase your worst qualities and win. Shine in casting sessions. Destroy everyone else around you. Click subscribe. I don't think I have $500. Process train. Oh, I do. First complete. Congratulations on making an investment in Fleeting Future on D list. Click on the button below to begin the e-course and we'll have you humiliate yourself on TV in no time. Next reality TV show. What is reality TV show? Reality TV is about placing dumb and ideally psychotic but physically active, attractive people in ridiculous, contrived situations, feeding them alcohol and scripted lines till they fight or sleep with each other in commercials in between for energy drinks, diet pills, and tanning products featuring people from other reality TV shows, glorious feedback loop in which entertainment becomes even more mean-spirited and crap. Yes, I hear you say, but it's not a bad thing. Well, now if you're making money off of it, hand over fist, we are. And you can too. Production companies love reality TV show because it's cheap. Who shirt is douchebags, fresh batch of yeast infected sluts, a few bottle of bottom shelf liquor, and you got yourself a show. Next, skin the part. Are you? Remember that most TV and casting executives are urban, overprivileged, uppity college graduates who love to sneer at the tasteless behavior, bigot opinions, uh, gaudy fashion sense, and grating regional accents of the working class. They hate their jobs. They wish they'd gone to medical school. <laughs> it can be true. It's your job to fuel their self-loading by showing them just how happy and at one with yourself you can be. Start building a portfolio now of drunken photos and videos from Life Invader that you can use this evidence of your marketability in your audition tape. Upskirts and tit shots will, also, will always get you an addition. It's funny that they said about the Life Invader thing because it is people who use social media and crazy things to become famous. Uh, what's that guy? Boot Game? That's a good example. Golden Rule is become stereotype. America, especially TV executives, love to uh, put people in tiny little boxes. Think back to a time before feminism and civil rights. Some ideas on roles that get picked up for shows. Shelter, small time church boy who might be gay. Abusive juice head who kisses his biceps without any irony and isn't afraid to cry who might be gay. And insecure sex it's all about being gay. Insecure sex crazed party girl who blacks out on toilet cleaner every night who might be gay. Ruthless go digging mom who's never done a day's work in her life and who might be gay. <laughs> a bitter teenager who thinks she's gonna die alone who might be gay. Spoiled whining daddy's girl who can't understand why everyone hates her but nonetheless might be gay. <laughs> Pretty gay girl might be straight if someone tries hard enough. Wow. Check my recording time. Oh man. And uh, looks like I'm running out of time. Still in the limelight. Get out shows this beginning of the trauma. I'm surrounded by a bunch of egomatics. Skookily is desperate and fame hungry as you. How do you stand out? You're gonna need to go be throw a chance or chop a finger, and murder someone. You're famous. Trick be yourself, but the best version of yourself, worst version of yourself, you possibly be, be given to all basic instincts. Get drunk, punch women. Who cares? Viewers who not want to not quite feel so bad about their own failures and functional life. For sure, no matter how low you go, the producer of the show will still be more despicable, morally bankrupt person to you. Blow him and see. 
Okay. Looks like I'm going to run out of time here, but uh, in the next video,